What's going on guys? Hope everyone had a great New Year's and Christmas with their families. Enjoyed the time off. Big shout out to you guys that had to work through. I remember when I was working at my old job, I'd only get the stat days off. Every other day I'd work through. In this video, I wanted to get into the Sapphiro, what we've got for it, what's coming up over the next month, and also what's gonna be coming up over the next year. I have a big goal this year to try and get to 30,000 subscribers, so I want to more than double the channel and really try and make this pop. Just wanna put in so much more work, so much more effort than I ever have before and really try and, yeah, really try and get somewhere with this. It's going back about two months ago now when we announced that we're gonna be doing a giveaway with the Sephiro and I'm gonna be teaming up with Araki to do it. We've got a lot of parts for it now. We've got the engine, we've got wheels, we've got an angle kit, we've got new hot side for it a bunch of other parts. About a month ago, Araki dropped off an engine for this. It's an engine that he has had for a while. Initially, I was gonna be putting an RB20 into the Sephiro. I'd strip one down, rebuilt it, but that motor ended up going in a R32 that we did last year. But we have another RB20 going into the Sephiro. It's got one of these modified factory plenums that's been made into a front baser. I'm not a huge fan of these. Personally, I would never put one on my car, but it's just what we got. Currently, it's got a RB25 debt turbo on it, but we are going to be taking that off and putting this brand new hybrid manifold on. This is the same manifold that I used to run in my S14 before we Took that off and replaced it with the Cinco. These are still a China manifold, but they're a lot better quality than a lot of the other ones out there. They're made with quite thick material and they don't, they're not prone to cracking like a lot of the other ones are. Also, the gate port is in a much better position. Usually on a lot of the China manifolds, it comes out from the bottom and that can create boost spike issues. As for turbos, this is the original turbo that I had planned on running on the Rebuilt 20. It's a brand new AR50 turbo. We've had the elbow welded on from Robbie ages ago. So that is ready to go in. We've had the intercooler piping all made up already, but I had it done to suit the factory plenum which the throttle body is about here so the piping sort of loops around like that so we're going to have to have the cold side modified to suit the front basing style we've got a gearbox for it down here we've got rb20 gearbox this is actually the gearbox that originally came in my first ever turbo rb and it's got a short shift kit in it it's got a little uh, little ring in there and yes yeah, the short shifter here I quite like it, it's got a good throw to it. Last week, went down to JB Fab and Robbie and Andy made up the angle kit that we're gonna be running in this car. We've got it here, we've got the subframe, the extended lower arms and the cut knuckles. I'll have a video coming out tomorrow night about that. I did it a little bit differently. Instead of doing more of a vlog style video while I was there, I sort of just focused on filming what they were doing and I'm actually gonna do a bit of a voiceover on what they're doing, I'm not the best at uh, articulating things and I'm definitely not a fabricator, but um, yeah, we'll just give it a go. And if you guys like it, let me know. We might uh, might do a bit more voiceover stuff in the future. But yeah, that video will be out tomorrow. Really looking forward to getting the angle kit, especially the cross member, into the Sephiro. We'll be doing that later this week because once the cross member's in, we can get the gearbox on the back of the motor, we can get the turbo manifold and the turbo on the motor, and then we can actually get the drivetrain back into this car. But the first time this car's had an engine in two to, th no, probably about three years now. Initially, I did buy this car years ago. You can actually see the video of me buying this car on the channel was like my sixth or seventh video. Brought up the 25 debt. That 25 debt is actually sitting over there in pieces. So it's gonna be really cool to see this car running again. For anyone that does want to get into the draw to win it, I'll chuck a link down below where you guys can officially now get your entries in. The winner of the car will be flown here to Christchurch. Hang out with me for the day. We're gonna take you for some hot laps in the S14 and then wherever you are in the country, the Sephiro will get shipped to you. Once we get the drivetrain in the Sephiro, we're gonna get back to finishing all the bodywork on this, and then we're gonna get it painted. I said in the video a while ago when we announced the giveaway that we are gonna be painting the car the same color that the engine bay is. I am absolutely in love with this purple. It's a Ford Falcon purple. 
but it's got a little bit of silver added into it and a metallic additive that just makes the color pop a bit more in the sunlight. It's also gonna get fully rewired. In the video at the start of last year when we started cracking into it, my initial plan for it was to make a simple seat time drift car and we just ripped all the old body loom out of it. So that still needs to be wide up. Well, we're gonna do it pretty basic, just have rear brake lights, fuel pump, the front windows, are gonna work and yeah that's pretty much it so whoever wins this car you could put it back on the road it is live the shell is straight you'll just have to do a little bit more wiring on top of that to get things like uh, indicators uh, if you want the cluster to work to get that to work and headlights and stuff like that initially we were thinking about putting a hydro handbrake setup in but in the theme of keeping it simple and for whoever did want to put it back on the road to make it as easy as possible to do that we've decided to just throw the stock handbrake setup back in this uh, that's long gone out of this car and we actually have an s14 knuckle in here at the moment on the parts car we had all of that stuff so the other week i went and pulled that off of it so we've got the Sephiro knuckle here and we've got all the factory handbrake shoes and assembly ready to go and we've also got the handbrake lines and yeah, handbrake itself. I've mentioned before, but as for brakes, we do have some R33 GDST front calipers and the two pot GDST rear calipers to go on. Interior wise for this car, it's gonna have full interior. Currently it's all stripped out and sort of just the part storage bin essentially at this point. But yeah, we're gonna have door cards, carpet, seats, dash, all the interior trims. The goal for this car essentially is to be a beginner drift car. You're gonna be able to take it straight to the track for whoever wins it right away. Whoever wins it, if you do want to put it back on the road, live reg, straight chassis. We'll need a little bit of work certified and things like that. Um, you will have to take probably the angle kit out as well, but the option is there for whoever wins it to put it back on the road. We do have wheels for it as well got them sitting here i've had these for a little bit they're all wrapped in brand new 225 high flies these are the wheels that are going on it they've got a nice concave to them and i think the black wheel on the purple is going to look pretty cool we're going to slam this car in its guts just like every other giveaway car that Ariki does so it's going to look sick if you weren't watching the channel at the beginning of last year when we actually first started working on the Sephiro, we also have a brand new phoenix radiator to go in there and just up there we have a brand new Phoenix intercooler. I'm super excited to get stuck into the Sephiro build. The goal is to try and essentially have it pretty much done and ready to go by the end of this month. There's a lot of work to do, but we have all of the parts that we need for it. The two biggest things really are going to be wiring it up and the panel and paint. As I said at the start of the video, I've got quite a few plans and builds that I want to do this year. Once the Sephiro is done, we will be bringing Anthony's Laurel into here and making a start on getting that thing back on the road. We took the heart out of it, the big forge motor for his drift car. I've got two 25 depth blocks sitting here, all the pistons and rods, a couple of heads there. So we're gonna throw a 25 depth together. I have three blown small boxes here. So I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to make one good box out of these three blown ones. And then we're gonna give it a panel and paint, make it real nice. It's not gonna have the big crazy power that it used to have, but it's gonna look a million times better. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I also have another S14 that I wanted to build into a street car for quite a while. It's quite a tidy shell. It's a bit of rough around the edges here and there, but I wanna get that in here and make a start on that probably in the next four to six months. And I wanna do a power plant in that that I've never played around with before. I give people a lot of shit for SRs, but I've never actually had too much against them. And more recently, I have liked the idea of playing around with one. So I think for that car, it's fitting to put an SR20 there in it. I want to get it road legal, certified, the full nine yards, and I want to make it pretty clean. And yeah, I'm super excited to get stuck into that when the time comes. Been rambling a lot in this video, but bear with us, we're almost done. If you've uh, stayed this long, I appreciate it. I just wanted to ask you guys, you know what you would like to see in the channel this year changes editing just any suggestions that you guys have i'm all ears like i said i really want to try and blow the channel up this year really make it work and yeah just any suggestions that you guys 
would like to see. Maybe you guys want to see some sim content. Anthony has brought his sim into here and we've been jamming on it a lot. It's a pretty basic setup. It's just a Logitech G29 wheel. It's not the best, but we actually messed around with it quite a bit the other week. And honestly, this wheel is night and day compared to, to, compared to what it used to be. It's again, it's still not perfect, but for the most basic budget wheel that you can get, doing these things has just absolutely transformed it. And that's finally gonna wrap it up here. I wanna try and start really pumping out the content, try and do four or five videos a week going forward. So I appreciate all the support and uh, catch you in the next one.